Good evening, T-Wolves! Mr. Quentin here with what we did for Thursday, November 12th, 2020. So, uh, we, as you know, yesterday for Veterans Day, we talked a little bit about Veterans Day, but we also introduced the idea of world religions. And so, uh, through your slide deck and through your notes, you should have learned a little bit about uh, Judaism, Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, and Hinduism in no particular order. And so we're going to just continue working on these world religions. Uh, so we'll pretend, of course, we're in first period, but you're going to go to whatever period you are, head on down to quarter two, jump into week of November 9th, and then head on into Thursday. That's right, folks. So we've got uh, two things here that we need to look at. First one here is a little uh, link to a an article here called Who Believes What? Make sure you look uh, link that twice. I'm sorry, click that twice. And then you too can pull this up. And when it loads, this is what you'll need to read. Okay, so if you were in with us in class, you'll know that we broke this down and read this together in sections. Okay, uh, for you at home, if you're doing this on your own, be sure to break it down into chunks. Don't try and read this whole thing all at once. Take one paragraph, let that set for a moment. Take the next paragraph and let that set for a moment and keep on going until you have actually read the whole page. And this way you can learn a little bit about who believes what in these different five major world religions. Remember folks, this is all about learning and understanding culture. This is not about direct political or religious instruction, nor uh, is it meant to be uh, debate by any stretch of the imagination. So you're just using this to learn and appreciate other cultures. Once you've read this uh, page, you can then go into your document for today. This is the assignment world religions chart. So you are going to use these attachments down here to help you. Look, it's the same slide deck from, uh, from yesterday that you can go through that talks about all the different kinds of religions and gives you some basic in, uh, information about them. You can also take a look at my notes that I did so that this way, if your notes are incomplete, or if you perhaps did not have the right information for some reason, you can use my notes to assist you in making sure that you're getting all of the correct information. You can even read about the reflections that I wrote also. So you will use these in order to help you fill out this chart. So this chart talks about the five different major religions. You're going to look at their demographics. Demographics just simply means how many followers they have and how large the religion is. So followers is how many followers and the pound sign or hashtag, as we say nowadays, is for its rank. And as you can see here with Judaism, 14.5 million followers and the fifth largest religion. You're going to take a look and then find out when and where this exists, uh, when and where it was created. You'll see here 2000 BC. If you are someone who prefers to use BCE, that is fine. Uh, and it was located in the Middle East. Um, here we can determine whether or not it's monotheistic or polytheistic, and then look up some of the beliefs and practices. You will be able to use this slide deck to help you. You'll be able to use these notes to help you. You might need to use something like the World Factbook to look up a country like Israel or Pakistan or India to see if they have specific information. You're welcome to do that. You may also do something like just simply Google where was Hinduism founded, for example, and it will tell you in Pakistan. And then you will be able to put that in there for yourself, okay? Depending on where you're needing to get that information. All right, so you have all of those available to you. All those tools are available. You have the slide deck, you have my copy of yesterday's notes, and you have the ability to use uh, the internet to Google it really quickly or the CIA World Factbook. And when you're done there, 
you'll want to make sure you scroll down. There are questions. And again, you can use all of the assets and all of the tools that we have available here to answer the questions. And you can see that I've made my answers in bold to make them easier to uh, read um, and delineate from everything else. But you can use whatever you like. That's fine if you just want to maybe put your answers down to here. Um, or you can also put your answers in bold, whatever's easiest. You'll see here that I have simply used complete sentences, complete and complex sentences to answer the questions and only what the questions are asking. So this is definitely a pretty easy and quick assignment. You will take a little bit of time to do some research on this, but again, you do have all your tools available so that you can get that completed. Once you're done, go ahead and submit, and then you're good to go. Remember, this is daily work, uh, but just like you're using your notes from yesterday, you'll be able to use the notes from today to help you later on as well. Uh, remember that tomorrow, Friday, we do have a quiz. That quiz is a minor grade. So use this information to help you study for that quiz tomorrow if you're doing that, if you're not doing that already. And that, folks, is what we did today. Um, if you have any questions, make sure to send me a note in Schoology or send me an email. And if you need anything, I'm always here for you. Mr. Quinton, out.